going on there, everybody? Let's turn this a little bit. There we go. How's everybody doing? So, we got a couple things here. We'll start with the small one. It's from Josh, JK Saw Shop. Let's take a gander at this. Sent some couple loops of chain there. Things for 32 and a 30, I believe. That's gonna be a gooder. So we got some Archer chain. I've never used Archer. I was very curious about it. Okay, so this is for the 32 inch. Anything else? No. This should be for 30. Yep, that's for the 30. No, nope, this is why not. Like I said, I've never used Archer Chain. Feels good and sharp right out of the gate. Let's go grab that 30 in a second. All right. I'm not mounting this on the saw. I just want to see how this goes. Oh, yeah. This... So this is for the 30 inch Sugi. Oh yeah, that'll work. That will work. These are the uh, 30 inch Sugis with the replaceable tip. And uh, yeah, so coming up here, I'm going to, uh, I've never mounted or replaced a tip on a bar before. So I'll, I'll show you that one in a sec. So I lucked out our luck our local dealer luckily had a tip for this 36 inch cannon. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. So I got I have some rivets kicking around. Once I find them, we'll dig into this, see if I have the right size. But these bars originally came with 050 or 04 404 in 063 gauge. So I wanted to run 3 8 in 63. Um because then I, at least I can move this around from saw to saw. So, give me a sec. Thank you, Josh, also for the chain. Um, if, if you're looking for chain, check out JK Saw Shop. He may have some in. I know they were, they were going fast, so I don't know if he still has any. Um, I said, I've never used the Archer. I've heard very mixed things, good and bad about it, but we'll see. Um, I got to give some time. It's getting cold here like frigid cold or I think we're getting our, our normal yearly uh, deep freeze so this is a power head Let's see how this thing looks. It's, an, it's another 044. You want me to bring you guys up closer? That that'd be a thing here. Everything's such a cluster mess down here. So we can get you guys a little closer and actually get this thing to sit properly. Next thing. There we go. Who runs a 16 on one of these bad boys? I'm willing to bet you might be wondering what it is. So what 
we have, let me make sure I'm not all seen that. No, looks good. So what we have here is an 044. Another 044. I know. I know. Another one, right? Another one. What's interesting is Oh yeah, she got some compression. What's interesting about this is, as some of you folks know, I got a red lever one back there. That, this one has a fancy dancy option to her. back there which is fine now some of you might have guessed by now what this is some of you may have not guessed it it's in really good shape handles not buggered up a couple little light, light little scuffs there but that's bugger all but what we have here is the winter package version of the 044. That's cool. I've been on a kick on winter package saws because they are hard to come across up this way. It's got a really new rim sprocket going on in there. Okay, that's good. It's going to need a little more beefier dogs. That is also what appears to be a pre-EPA um, muffler to the hole uh, in the deflector on the newer ones that are apparently smaller. So this one is not. I don't know if that muffler is going to come apart. There's a bit of a ding in the bottom side, but that's bugger all for big company. So. This is supposed to be, and I see what the differences are, this is supposed to be a 12 mil handle sec. There we go. So between uh, me and Buddy Evan have been discussing this, this is a 10 mil. That's The cylinder's been replaced at some point because it's not a slant fin. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's a divot right there. And that divot's supposed to represent a 10 10 mil wrist pin, whereas this one does not have that divot in there. So this is supposed to be a 12 mil wrist pin. So we got some potential things for this one. This one is probably going to be getting rehomed. Um, to who? I'm not saying yet because I'm not sure. So, there's a fella interested in this one. We'll uh, discuss that later, like between me and him. But this one here, I have, actually, I have a 460 jug. So, we may or may not convert this to a 460. We'll see how this goes. Might leave it, might leave it as an 044. I know they're two different animals, so it's, we'll see. But, yeah, this is the first time in three years I can say I owned not only one 044, two of them. I've been looking around for, yeah, it's got to be at least three three years, maybe going on four years. I think it's been three. Looking for, not an Arctic, but just an 044 in general. So, yeah, like I say, if, if you know anything about the Arctics, the Arctics are harder to get. But, Oh yeah, this one has, this 10 mil has way more compression than this 12. Tell right away, it's got way more compression. Um, yeah, I've been looking for a long time for one of these, and I lucked out, I landed two. So, that being said, like I said, I'm not sure where we're going to go with this one yet, but we'll see. Um, I got other projects I got to worry about before I tackle this. Priority ones, well, I call them priority. Not everybody else may agree, but 
I, to me it's a priority. So once we get that, get the project going and done there, it's will be a MS uh, 200T. So that one's been powder coated and everything else. So it's, uh, it's that's gonna take priority. I still got to uh, dye the chain cover yet. Um, haven't got to that. It's getting so cold that I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try and see what happens. I'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with this. May, may or may not convert it to uh, to a 460 top end. Uh, we'll rip into it, check her out. Uh, but yeah, that's been the day. So that being said, what else? What else? We did the yeah, we did the arch chain. Thank you again, Josh, for that. Um, Actually, funny story. This one came, traveled all the way from Alberta. I don't know where it originated from, but that's where it traveled from. And it's a red lever. I don't know if it shows up on camera. This is your normal black lever, nothing fancy. But I wanted the 12 mil wrist pin, but I would have been happy with this too, mind you. But I wanted the 12, and it was just by fluke. This happened to be a winter package. That's my that's my big hang up on it. I got the. Uh, for my personalized O26, I actually have a winter package to put into that. Um, and then I might be acquiring another saw, at O36 Pro with the winter package as well. And if you don't know what the winter package is, I don't know on these, I assume they're all the same, um, but should be heated carb, heated, heated bar, and heated handle. So not that I really get cold when I'm out cutting, but it just, they're not common. I don't know what the ratio is to non-arctic versus arctic versions or heated but if it was like 20 of these non-heated versus one of these or it could be 50 of non-heated versus one of these they're just not common here so i figured uh take the take this opportunity to uh to get one so anyways we'll catch you guys in the next video later